In our fast-paced, high-energy society at interstate speeds, we seldom have the time to notice anything other than the traffic. Scenery whisks by in a blur, not important or necessary, yet we miss so much. Off Interstate 70 near Taylorstown, PA, is an old S-bridge, relic of bygone times, and a guardian, Gerald David McKenzie, who everyone calls Tater, a spry 80-year-old man who has adopted a bridge. When you ask how long he's been doing this... Well, I've been doing this since I was a young boy, and uh, we used to come out here every day and uh, swim up the, up the road there, and we used to dive off of that bridge a high place that we tried to find, and then we lost one of our buddies. He broke his neck, and we never come back to swim here. He comes out to the bridge three or four times a week in good weather and tries to get people interested in his cause, restoring the old bridge and trying to educate each passerby about it. I've been interested in this for quite a while. So I come out here, and I sit across the road, and I whittle and dream and and think of things in this bridge that I'm very much interested in. The advent of modern communication techniques has caused the passing of a breed of men like Tater, the storyteller. Remember, at one time, everything we learned we got from storytellers. So Tater tells us how it was at the end of the day at his old bridge. This bridge here has a part of history. This bridge here was uh, pioneers traveled here, went across that bridge, and then they come here, maybe 20 or 30 in a group, in a wagon train. They camped here at night, and they did their washing, and they uh, laundry here, and they bathed here, and uh, cooked and stayed here overnight. Tater takes us over and shows what the ravages of time and the ignorance of people have done to his old bridge. He shows how the bridge approaches have become nothing more than a pile of rubble. This has deteriorated and fell apart, and a lot of people here and a lot of people push these stones over, but nothing we can do about that. But this has to be replaced and reset. Tater takes us over to the arch and shows how water seepage is causing bricks and stones to fall from the structure. But if you look here on this arch here, the water comes down through, and the stone are falling out, and the uh, keystone, and this is your stone here, and that's a keystone that holds this arch up. It's very well engineered, and they certainly were smart, as you see. That's what actually holds this up. Tater has reason to hope that his bridge will not disappear, as so many landmarks have done in the past. Right now, we're trying to get this thing started, and, uh, and the state is, right now have approved the, uh, around $115,000 to restore this bridge and bring it back to where or near as it was in the olden days. All right, this bridge means so much to me and all the people in this community here. They're a part of this, it's been a part of their family and the pioneers and has so much value. People stop here from all walks of life every day and look at this bridge and marvel how it was built and how much it's meant. Tater McKenzie loves his old bridge. He displays some artwork depicting the area as it was his fishing buddy, George Washington surveying the region, a stage stop on the old National Road. He cheerfully describes how he got the flagpole he uses to raise the American flag at the bridge on a nearly daily basis. Here. And I got this pole, and you'll see it has an S to it. I don't know how that works. There's something about life, but why an S pole had to come to my eye, I never dawned on me. I wanted a straight pole. There it is. It, I've never Cut a nest pole in my life, and that's the first pole, and I've cut a lot of locust posts in my life. This part of life is mine, and I love it, and I'm here about every day, and I raise that flag every morning, and I raise, take it down every night and fold the flag, and when I come back the next morning before dawn and raise it again. So that's the story of that flagpole. So Traveling is much more than visiting places. It is and always will be the people we meet that give us our memories and Tater is one of those unforgettable memories.